What's up guys? This is Chris here from East Coast BC and welcome back to the channel. Today I originally had a video planned about the AMD Ryzen 7000 series CPUs that were getting 3D vCache. I've been so excited about those CPUs for a long time. Those of you who followed the channel closely uh, should know that. And I am so disgusted about what's going on in the graphics card market, especially with this 4070 Ti, that I have took the time. I've got both of the Ampere and Ada Lovelace die sizes pulled up from each SKU of GPU, like AD102, AD104, or GA102, GA104. And what I'm going to explain to y'all in this video is, even with inflation and even with NVIDIA using a much more advanced process node to manufacture their GPUs, the prices that they are charging is still absolutely ridiculous. It makes no sense. And what it is doing, it is, it is killing the upcoming gamer market the people that are trying to buy their kids a gaming pc for christmas and get something better than some bargain bin box piece of trash and you know when you, kids for christmas they ask for a certain amount of money for christmas whatever their parents don't have a thousand dollars to spend on a pc and and the sad part is even if you do spend a thousand dollars you still can't hardly get nothing worth a rat's ass so that's what we're going to be talking about today i'm very upset about it before we get started, guys, if there's anyone who is not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, drop a like, comment, do all that good YouTube stuff. We appreciate each and every one of y'all so much. So with that out of the way, let's talk about all the garbage that is going on in the GPU market today. All right, guys, so here we go. Now, one thing I want to say is I want y'all to remember that what I think happened, and this is going to become very important as we talk about this here, what I think NVIDIA did was when they were developing these ADA Lovelace, Ada Lovelace dies, I believe that after they got the samples back from TSMC, hey, this is what this product is going to look like built on our 4 in process node. I think that they seen the performance was really good and they wanted to continue their trend of making more and more profit. And they said, let's just move each die size up a price slot because that's exactly what happened and by doing that especially at the lower end of the uh of the graphics card spectrum that is going to create many so much stagnation as you guys may remember with the rtx 2060 and the rtx 3060 there was so much stagnation that the 3060 was that not that much faster than the rtx 2060 and also our rtx 3050 could not even beat our RTX 2060. So that just goes to show you how much stagnation there was at the low end last generation. The problem is that stagnation that was at the low end is also moving up to the mid tier to the 70 class cards, especially uh, the upcoming RTX 4070. I have I don't have much hope for that being like the savior or the RTX 4060. I think it's going to get worse and worse as we go down the product stack. So any, anyway, now that that's out of the way, you guys know where I'm coming from on that. Let's talk about these die sizes, inflation, and what's really going on with the prices of these cards. All right, y'all. So what I want to start off with first is I want to compare this AD104 Ada Lovelace die to the RTX, the die that was used in the RTX 3070, which was the GA104 die. Now, this AD104 die, our new current generation die from NVIDIA, it is currently used in the RTX 4070 Ti, and it's also believed that it's going to be a much cut down version used in the RTX 4070, which will feature the same exact amount of CUDA cores as the previous gen RTX 3070, even though the architecture is better. We're only getting a little bit better because we're not growing our size in CUDA core, which we could be, but NVIDIA is just trying to charge way too much for these dies, and that's what we're going to be talking about here. So if you look at this GA104 die uh, that is used in the RTX 3070, it is 392 millimeters squared, okay? I want y'all to come over here and look to the right hand of the screen at the AD104 die size and that's 294.5 millimeters squared that means that the new die is a 25 percent smaller than the previous generation die now why does that matter why am i talking about that well because they raised these prices up so much well here's the thing 
the RTX 3070 w went for a MSRP of $499.99. Now, most of you will know that are watching this video that during the last generation of graphics cards, especially up until the end, hardly nobody paid that amount of money for them. But because of the mining boom and just so many things going on with the economy and what the world was going through at that time. And yes, going down to TSMC's four nanometer process does cost NVIDIA a lot more money. But what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to compare the RTX 3070 Ti, which used the full GA104 die, to the RTX 4070 Ti, which uses the full AD104 die. And they were selling the 3070 Ti at $599 MSRP and then they come and slap a $799 MSRP on the RTX 4070 Ti and that is the disgusting problem that we're dealing with right now. So guys let's just say for sake that the RTX 3070 Ti that was the full die of the GA104 die they were retailing that card for $599. So let's just say they wanted to go up a whole hundred dollars. Now They've already made a good portion of that money back by going with a 25% smaller die. Now, say they need to make some more money up. So they raised the MSRP of up of $100, and that's to adjust for inflation and everything else that's going on in the world these days. So that would land us at a price of $699 for the RTX 4070 Ti. Now, if they would have done that for $699, even though I'm not happy about it, it's the full die, and it's a hundred more dollars than the previous generation RTX 3070 Ti. I'm, like I said, I'm not happy about it. That's adjusting for inflation. I could, if they would have actually released the RTX 4070 Ti for six hundred and ninety-nine dollars with a Founder's Edition option to keep the partners honest and actually have cards readily available for seven hundred and thirty-nine dollars instead of eight hundred and thirty-nine dollars on New Egg. Even though no, I'm not happy about it. Just like each and every one of y'all are not happy about it. That, that's somewhat understandable. But what they are doing here is absolutely disgusting. Just like we were talking about before, this die was originally going to be called the RTX 4080 12 gig. They were going to put the 80 naming in this card. And I just cannot get over the fact that they actually had the kahunas to try to do that. It's absolutely insane. But anyway, guys, that's what's actually going on here. They are just trying to make more profit for their shareholders. And they've gotten so bullish with themselves over the last two years because it was about a year and a half ago. It was the summer of uh, 2021, if I'm not mistaken. And Jensen went on stage and he was bragging to his shareholders about how much they could sell graphics cards for because there was a huge mining boom. Everybody was buying computers uh, to work from home because of COVID. They, they, they could sell a graphics card for, I mean, literally, if they put an MSRP on the graphics card, either a scalper would buy it and sell it for $1,000, double the price, maybe even more. Or if you could even get it at some third-party retailers that's not technically scalpers, they could get any amount of money for these cards. It was absolutely insane. But that's not what we're living in today. Ethereum mining is dead on graphics cards. It's not the same market that we're in. And the problem that I see coming here is this is the very beginning of the RTX 4088 Lovelace generation. So it's not like it's at the very end of the generation last time when the prices crashed. They have planned to make this amount of money off of these cards. They've already had to drop from $899, which is just insane for this SKU that they're calling the RTX 4070 Ti to $799, but nobody can get one for $799. Right now on Newegg, you can get the MSI Ventus card for $839. That is the cheapest model readily available. And they've already planned making set amount of money on these cards. So are they going to drop the prices? I don't know, guys. It, you know, If people don't buy them at all, eventually they're going to have to, and I hope... Nobody buys these cards, the RTX 4070 Ti especially. The RTX 4080 was terrible, and it actually somehow, in my opinion, made the RTX 4070 Ti look even worse because it's more of somewhat a high-end mainstream gamer card and not a very high-end, slightly enthusiast class card. So, yeah, it, it just really sucks right now what's going on, and 
Jensen has got really bullish. He's promised his shareholders he can make set them out for these cards. He's tried to sell the NVIDIA stock. And what we have here is a, a just a dumpster fire. And what's so sad about this, guys, is that over 80% of NVIDIA's market share comes from gamers. I don't know the exact number, but I know for a fact uh, last year it was over 80% of their revenue came from the GeForce brand from the gaming market and they they can do all these things and they can brand ai and they can talk about all this machine learning which is great i'm a fan of all of it i'm a fan of the tensor cores i'm an absolute ray tracing nut anybody that follows me or follows this channel knows that i'm mostly a single player gamer and i absolutely love ray tracing i think it's amazing but at the end of the day you can market all of this stuff and try to put it in vehicles and just do all this try to you know fill in all these other markets and try to get into all this other stuff and that's great and that's what you should do as a company but at the end of the day you got to look in the mirror and realize who has really supported you who supported you from the beginning and who over 80 percent of your revenue comes from and that's me you everybody watching this video gamers and content creators on a smaller scale that's not people spending uh three thousand dollars on data center cards and just all this crazy stuff so yeah, guys, anyway, I felt like I had to make this video. I had to try to explain what was really going on, why these cards are so expensive, um, why this makes absolutely no sense. So I just had to rant a little bit tonight. But thank each and every one of you who has watched this far into the video. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. We got so much good content coming. We got a our, we got a uh, AMD Ryzen 7 5800X that we're going to be replacing my Ryzen 9 5950X with. Most of you would say, well, why are you re place an 8 core CPU with a 16 core CPU or excuse me I said that backwards but anyway uh, and that's because the 5800X is so much better in gaming and the Ryzen 9 5950X while it is better in content creation it's actually not that much better at the apps I use such as Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe Photoshop so we're going to go ahead with that switch it's going to help us out so much when we upgrade our current system to a RTX 4090 and make sure you guys stay tuned. We're going to be switching that out in, in our main water cooled build computer. We're going to see how the 58 X runs with my current RTX 3090. And we're going to get ready for that RTX 4090. If we can ever buy one at MSRP or anything close to MSRP anywhere around where I live out here in the stick. So anybody that's still watching this video, thank you guys so much. We appreciate each and every one of y'all. Please get subscribed to the channel. Do all that good YouTube stuff. Thanks again, guys, and I will see y'all soon.